A 14-year-old girl, still not fully developed, who demands to have her breasts cut off. A 15-year-old boy who wants to have his penis removed. A 10-year-old taking drugs to interfere with hormones that make puberty possible. This is what Joe Biden promoted today. To parents of transgender children, affirming your child's identity is one of the most powerful things you can do to keep them safe and healthy. To any transgender American who's struggling, please know that you're not alone. To parents and children alike, please ask for help and know this, you're so brave, you belong, and we have your back. Well, that's right. I, I've got another chapter in the book where I talk about what's happening just internally in America, the moral rot mm -hmm. in our country. When people ask, when is God going to judge America? If people will read Romans 1, they'll find out really he already is. Mm. Yes. Uh, the first form of God's judgment is to give people over to their own sin. Mm -hmm. And if you read Romans 1, three times you have God gave them over, and the first giving over is to what we might call a sexual revolution. Mm -hmm. The second step there is a homosexual revolution. Wow. And then the final step is just the open encouragement of evil. So I see that we are already being judged. Now people say, well, can we turn that around? Well, none of us knows God's times timetable. You know, if there was to be a mass revival in our country, certainly there could be a turnaround. But I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about this mass revival that could come to America, and he said, well, where would the revival come from? I said, well, it would wow. come from the churches. I said, well, do you see any indication? I mean, our churches are becoming more focused on entertainment and lack of teaching the, the Bible and of doctrine. So how is that kind of a revival going to come? So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want to be some, you know, a pessimist about this, but his point was well taken. Well, if you watch the public forum, uh, Mark, and I think from time to time we, uh, as we're channel surfing, we come across something on TV that absolutely, we say, 10 years ago, this could never have been shown. Sure. Uh, this is the world we live in today, a society that's rapidly decaying. You don't have to be a genius to see that. That's right. It's happened in my lifetime. When I was born in 1959, I've witnessed the sexual revolution the homosexual revolution, these things that are taking place. Now, will God turn from that more uh, passive means of judgment to a more active means of judgment in the very near future? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, and verse 9. And it reads, it says, The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, Yehoshim Yahushai, but he that loveth him, but he that loveth him follow after righteousness. Proverbs 15 and 26, it says, The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh But the words of the pure are pleasant words. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 5, it says, Everyone that is proud in heart, proud in mind, is an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. All right, so the wicked shall not go unpunished. Shalom. <clears throat> Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out the laboring, the house of David, the elect that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. I'm back at you with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. <clears throat> And it's time to let this place fucking go. All right? America, Babylon is completely wicked. All right? And like the Edomite was saying in the video, the final step is open encouragement of evil. Okay? We live in a rapidly declining society, man. And he, like he said, you don't have to be a uh, you don't have to be a genius to see it. You know, the scriptures refer to Babylon as the most proud, man. You know, and I wanted to read this article here because, you know, this type of shit should, you know, vex you daily. You know, are you not tired of this? You know, but jumping straight into this article here. This is from um, NBCNews.com. It says we're coming for your children. OK, this is what the alphabetical said, right? It says we're coming for your children. Chant at NYC Drag March elicits outrage. But activists say is taken out of context. You see, so this is a uh, pretty much in this article here. They're they're they're, um, they're defending, you know, this wickedness. 
And that's why that's why I always say, you know, pride has reached uh, uh, maximum levels, man. You know, it's time. You know, the the, the pride of Babylon is going to be rewarded by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because it's, it's at the point where these people they don't think that they're going to be judged. You know, they don't think anything is going to happen to them. Let me get that real quick too. <clears throat> this is um. This is Sirach chapter 5. And uh, verse 2, it says, Follow not thy own mind and, and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Right? Leaning on your own understanding. All right? Pride. The point, it says, And say not, Who shall control me for my works? For the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, will surely revenge thy pride. And this is the message that's going out to all you damn alphabeticals out there. All right? The wicked. The Lord is surely going to revenge thy pride. The scriptures say that pride goeth before destruction. All right, Proverbs 16 and 18, it says, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And we see where pride is at in the world. Okay, rebellion, as the brother, the elder goes into, rebellion is at an all time, <clears throat> rebellion's at an all time high. All right, there's no turning back this, for this place. It's time, it's, it's time for the Lord to reap, basically. All right, because like the scriptures tell us in Ecclesiastes, get that too, though a sinner do evil multiple times, we get that, right? In the spirit here, um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads, it says, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, all right, because judgment is not happening on sight, you know, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil this is this is why we see pride at the level that it's at right now this is why we see rebellion you know at the state that it, that it is okay because these people are not being judged speedily they're not being judged right away and that's why they become lifted up all right that's why you have a month called pride month you see what i'm saying Every, everything is, is, is coming together for prophecy, the judgment of the Lord, man. Okay? Pride and rebellion is at its peak. Okay? Let's read it again. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right? It's to the point where they're telling you, look, we're going to come after your kids. There ain't shit you can do about it, right? It says, though a sinner... Do evil in a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it should be well with them that fear Yahweh Shemuel Shai, which fear before him. So we telling you out there that that fear Yahweh Shemuel Shai, don't worry. All right, all the Lord is doing is just simply building up the tab. Verse thirteen it says, "But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow." Because he feareth not before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So yeah, it's going to be ill with the wicked. It won't be well with the wicked. Okay, we know that the inevitable is coming, man. And how do how do we know? Through the signs. All right, we see everything that the Lord warned us, us, uh, warned us of happening in the earth, man. Okay, so anyway, I just want to touch this point. I'm not even going to get all into this. All right, enough is enough with this madness. It's simply time for, oh Lord... It's time for thee, O Lord, to work, for they have made void that law, right? Let me just read this real quick, man. Like I said, we're just going to get through this madness, okay? So there was a video that went viral here, right? So it says, in the twenty in the 21-second clip circulated by a right by a right-wing web streamer channel, dozens of people march in the streets and are clearly heard chanting, we are here and we are, you know what? We're not going shopping, but one voice that is louder than the crowd is not clear whose or whether the speaker was a member of the alphabeticals is heard saying at least twice. We're here and we're, you know what, and we're coming for your children, right? So it, the, the article reads on and it says to conserve to conservative pundits, activists and lawmakers, the video confirmed the allegations that the allegations they levied in recent years from the alphabeticals is grooming children <clears throat> jumping down all right because they're just trying to uh 
they're trying to blow it off as 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 if it's just something, you know, some type of saying that they have, you know. They're trying to, uh, uh, it's basically damage control, you know. So it says, the point here. It says, the coming for your children trend has been used for years at Mo events, according to a long-time March attendees and Mo rights activists who said it's one of the many provocative expressions used to regain control of slurs against the alphabeticals. And in this case, they said right-wing activists are jumping on a single video to weaponize an out-of-context remark to further stigmatize their alphabetical community. But this is all bullshit. And we're going to play that video in a minute in this next article because, you know, the scriptures say that your own tongue shall, f shall fall upon itself, right? Let's get that too. They're, they're telling you the pride is, is, is so high with these damn uh, uh, wicked people, I should say. <laughs> it's so high that they don't think that they're going to be stopped. Right? They're outright telling you what they want what they plan to do to your children. Right? They're openly pushing this agenda and they don't care. They like, look, they have the power now, basically. Right? Job fifteen and six it says, Thy own mouth condemneth thee, and not I, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. Right? So the Lord put the spirit on you devils, man, because you're drunk with pride. You know, you don't think that you're gonna be judged. <laughs> you don't think nothing's gonna happen to you. And that's, and that's what pride does, right? Psalm 64 and verse 8, and it reads, it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, right? You see what I'm saying? So the scriptures say you didn't, uh, uh, you didn't consider your latter end, you know? Let me read this as well. I had a few scriptures that I just had lined up for this, this article, man, because, uh, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is about to completely smoke this fucking place, man. All right. Revelation 18 and 4, and it reads, it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. All right. It's time to let America go. It's time to, to, to spiritually de de uh, to detach. I heard another voice from, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of our sins and that you receive not of her plagues. Okay. Verse 5, it says, for her sins have reached unto heaven. And Yahweh by Shema Shah have remembered her iniquities, right? So the sins of America have reached into the heavens. And that's why I said it's just the Lord is allowing Babylon to simply build up the uh, to build up the tab. Okay, this place is ripe for judgment. Okay, it's ripe for the taking. All right. Read it on here. Verse 6, Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she have filled to filled to her double. How much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? You see this? This is how Babylon glorifies itself and lives deliciously. Okay, not a care in the world. We can do whatever, be whatever. Okay, do as thou wilt, right? The spirit of Satan. Okay? It says, <clears throat> how, much, how much she have glorified herself and live deliciously so much torment and sorrow will give her for she saith in her heart i sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow you see that so that's the mindset of these wicked babylonians man okay who's who's the most high okay the, i can't be only god can judge you know i can't be judged with you know these people believe that they're not going to be stopped <laughs> you know i sit as a queen I am no widow, I shall see no sorrow. And that's what? That's pride. Right? Let me see what this word says. Bear with me. It says live deliciously. All right. <clears throat> Let's pull this up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Strong's G, 4763, Strainiao. Strainiao. All right, for that word, deliciously. To be wanton, undisciplined, right? To live luxuriously. All right. Let's see what the next one says, right? It says it lived, glorified herself, right? Strong's G, 1392, Doxadzo. Doxadzo. All right, for that word, glorify, to think, suppose, be of opinion, to praise, extol, 
magnified, all right? This place has magnified its, itself with what pride and abomination, all right? To impart glory to something, render it excellent. And that's how this place is parading. This is how America is parading itself around the world as, 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 uh, uh, as being some type of excellent type of place, you know? Come on, man, right? What else does it say? To be, to make renown, render illustrious, man. All right, and this place is, is fucking filthy. You see, but that's the mindset of, of of America, Babylon. You know. So finishing it out here, right? It says, uh, verse eight, Revelation eighteen and eight. It says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power, Yahweh by Shemuelashai, who judgeth her. So, so the judgment of this place is coming, and it's coming swift. All right. This is how we know, man, when when it when it gets to these levels, right? This is how we know that judgment on is on the way. Just at, just like just like how it was in during the time of the flood, man. You know? The earth was at its uh matter of fact, let's get that. Let's go to um Genesis chapter six. The corruption of mankind. There you go. Because rebellion is at its peak, as I said, right? I just want to get straight to the point. Just like the time of Noah, right? So it's Genesis uh, 6 and 5. It says, In Yahweh power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh saw that wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, right? As we heard in the intro here, he said, uh, um, He said, The final step was, uh, He said, when, uh, The final step was the, uh, is the open encouragement of evil. Right, we're coming after your kids, right? You're gonna accept this, this madness, you know, this multiple uh, genders, and, you know, just all this shit that's being pumped throughout about throughout Babylon right now, man. All right, this shit is off the chain. <laughs> all right, society is done for, man. Is the point I'm making? Genesis chapter six, verse six, it says, "And it repented the Lord Yahweh Shemayahushai that He had made man on earth, and it grieved Him at His heart. So if it grieved the Lord at this time." All right, during the time of the flood, how much more on the earth today with all this madness and, 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 and decadence that's going on? Verse 7, it says, And the Lord said, Yahweh Shemayahushai said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for repented me that I have made them on earth. So, so imagine how Yahweh Shemayahushai feels now. All right, of all this madness, all this shit that you see that's playing out on the planet Earth, right? It says, verse 8, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, hey, we're in that same seat as Noah that we find the grace and mercy from Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai before this swift and horrible judgment comes down upon America and various parts of the Earth, man. Right? The pride is going to be rewarded. All right, this is Jeremiah 23. In verse 18, it says, For who have stood in the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and perceived and heard his word? Who have marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Verse 20, And the anger of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, shall not return until he have executed, till he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. And this is what we're telling you people out there, man. All right? In the latter days, when great death consumes this land, okay, you're going you're gonna, to uh, consider it perfect, man. You're going to know that this is the judgment from, from a power uh, above, man. Okay? All right? I was looking up the word proud here. All right? I just want to read a couple of these. Because what we we're talking about the pride, all right, the, the 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 proudness of Babylon, man. Okay, it's going to be rewarded in due time. <laughs> Don't sleep on your how about Shimei man. All right, this thing is about to get brutal. Okay, this is Job forty and twelve. Look on everyone that is proud, and bring him low, and tread down the wicked in their place, man. The Lord is going to tread the wicked down, man. Okay. Psalms 12 and 3, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things. 
Man. All right. Psalms 31 and 23. O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All of you. It says, O love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All of you saints for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer, man. All right. Pride goeth before destruction. Okay. Let's get this real quick. Okay. So uh, this is pretty much a uh, article responding to this article here from the mainstream, right? But um, I just want to get to the point here. All right, let me jump down, bear with me. All right, as we just saw here, it is madness, right? But you remember back then, they told you what it was. As we celebrate pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. You think we're sinful? And I'm not even gonna play this shit, all right? You've seen it before, they, they, they're they singing about coming after the kids. You see? So anyway, all right? I'm just, I'm just doing this lesson just to show you that, hey, <laughs> the Lord's gonna perform a mighty work on this fucking place, man. All right, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 28, it says, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Shah, our power, the vengeance of his temple, all right, the vengeance of his people. Verse 29, call together the archers against Babylon, all you that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. And, and these nations are literally uh, uh, encamping round about against Babylon, all right? Nations have their armies and ships surrounded this place as we speak, all right? Over there, <clears throat> over there in Cuba, Russia and Chinese troops are training. Missiles are aimed, all right? Repent, recompense her according to her work. <clears throat> Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her, for she have been, for she have been proud against the Lord Yahweh Shimei Oshai, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh Shimei Oshai. So it's already prophesied that America is going to be destroyed in this in this final world war, nuclear war. All right, World War Three. Verse thirty-one: Behold, I am against thee, thou most proud. Save the Lord, power Yahweh Shemal Shav host, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. All right. So as as the, as the Edomite was saying in the video, you know, judgment is already playing out in America right now. All right. This video was back in the nineties, early nineties, right? So the judgment of, of of Babylon is is playing out as we speak. All right. The internal moral decay you know as i did a lesson on this before all right the economy is out of there you right the morals of the people are done no spirituality no fear of the lord you see what i'm saying do as thou wilt. the spirit of satan you know is being exalted no boundaries right and in a society that takes on this type of spirit is a society that's that's uh, uh doomed okay doomed for destruction right Jeremiah 50 and 32, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise them up. There's nobody that's going to save. There's no savior for Babylon, America, man. All right? There's no raising it up. I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. All right? Let's read that in the NLT. I'm saying verses again. All right? So back in Jeremiah chapter 50 in the NLT, and we, let's read, um, let's read, bear with me. <clears throat> Let's read at 29 again. So this is uh, in the NLT, Jeremiah 15, 29. It says, send out a call for the for archers to come to Babylon. Surround the city so none can escape. Do to her as she has done to others. For she have defied the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, the Holy One of Israel. Her young men will fall in the streets and die. Her soldiers will all be killed. You see, that's the prophecy. Okay. As Putin said, there's no victor in nuclear war. Says the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, see, I am your enemy, you arrogant people, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai of heaven's armies, your day of reckoning has arrived, the day when I will punish you. O land of arrogance, <laughs> is this not a land of arrogance? All right, the pride of everything, the pride that's on these people, you know, 
It says, you will stumble and fall, and none will raise you up. Exactly. For I, for I will light a fire in the cities of Babylon that will burn up everything around them. This place is going to be devoured with the fire of the Lord's jealousy, man. You see? Whew, man. Right? Let's grab this article, too. Okay. <clears throat> So this is from America's First Report dot com. It says the title here, it says pride is a thinly veiled color revolution to destroy Western civilization. Yeah, because this is all set up. All right. By these devils, by these elites. OK, to destroy this society. OK, because they have to forward what a new one. OK, this NWO Great Reset. OK, they're doing everything in their power to, to, to bring this place down. OK, it's, it's over with, man. And really is the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, regardless. OK, the Lord is allowing this place to decay from the inside out. All right. But it says here, I just want to read a little bit. It says the term color slash color revolution is often associated with covert efforts among U.S. and European interests. You see. All right. These elites. OK. It says it's often associated with covert efforts among U.S. and European interests to form it, to foment civil unrest with within in, enemy uh, nations. All right. So they're setting this up. All right. For America to collapse. All right. Let me go back to that Psalm 64. All right. That's those wicked and crafty devices, man. All right. Psalm 64. And uh, verse five, it says they encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. Okay, this whole agenda is a snare, it's a trap to destroy society. It says, they say who shall see them. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep, you see? Right? The crafty devices of the wicked. So it says, the term colors, color slash color revolution is often associated with covert efforts among U.S., and European interest to to form it civil unrest within enemy nations and sometimes allied nations as a means to destabilize their societies and governments exactly right this is that decay okay that moral rot that's going to eventually uh, uh, finish this place off okay you don't got to be a genius to see it like Esau said right <laughs> It says it is essentially fourth generation welfare, a concept expanded by on by Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino, a self-professed Satanist. You see this? Right. In a white paper, in a white paper titled from PSYOP to Mind War. All right. This is all a war on the mind. All right. The goal is straightforward to go to war against a foreign country or one's own country by attacking the citizenry, the citizenry. Rather than the armies, all right? Because, hey, the people of Babylon are under siege. They're under attack, all right, through psychological warfare, man. You know? It says, or to exploit the target population as a weapon to trigger instability, all right? This is what they need, chaos, instability, disorder, all right? Order out of chaos. It says, Color revolutions have been instigated for for decades around the world. One such psyop led to Euro Maiden Revo the Euro Maiden Revolution in Ukraine in 2014, which caused the overthrow of pro-Russian president Viktor Yen Yenkov. It says the singular event was the primary trigger for the eventual Russian invasion of Ukraine this past year, as Vladimir Putin declared he would no longer tolerate color revolutions among Russian allies. Man. So, you know, I'll leave it there. You know what I mean? But yeah, as we talked about the, the pride, you know, the pride is what's going to bring this place to its knees, to its destruction, you know? So yeah, this is heavy, man. So we'll leave it there, you know? But I pray that this lesson is edif edifying, you know, the, the America's done for, all thou most proud shall fall, man, with utter destruction, you know? So anyway, man, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakwadash Dabanis to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and double citations to all you Akim out there laboring. A hey, Shalom.